The state of Ohio is on the precipice of a major problem. There will be over a million people in the state of Ohio affected by Alzheimer's and related diseases in the next three years. That's why Senator Steve Wilson is pushing for a new statewide Alzheimer's task force. We need one because it's a runaway train coming down the track. According to the Alzheimer's Association, the disease is the most common form of dementia. It robs you of memories and cognitive abilities, which can interfere with your everyday life. The state of Ohio is the only state in the nation that doesn't have a plan for Alzheimer's and related dementia diseases. That's why Wilson is spearheading Senate Bill 24, which would establish an Alzheimer's and dementia task force. So who's on this task force exactly? Well, it's comprised of 28 people who are all experts in their field. That includes representatives from nursing homes, someone who helps with Medicare providers, somebody who is a physician that specializes in Alzheimer care, as well as somebody from Medicaid. Now, all of these 28 positions will be appointed by the governor. I hope that they find the path we should be following for prevention, the path we should be following for a cure. For Wilson, the disease of Alzheimer's is one that hits close to home. I remember one of my friends uh, told me when his wife died, and I was at the funeral, at the visitation, and he looked at me and he said, Steve, I lost my wife twice. I lost her when she didn't know me anymore and I lost her when she died. The bill is showing strong bipartisan support from both chambers, including from Representative Tavia Golonsky, who is also personally affected by the grips of the disease. Unfortunately, my own mother was working on her eighth book when she needed to be placed in a nursing home, and so I'm familiar with dementia, dementia and issues similar to Alzheimer's, and all I'll say is that it's time that we look for a cure. It's time that we do more than we can, more than we're currently doing on memory care. And so certainly the Alzheimer's task force is something that's needed for Ohio. Wilson says the task force will be charged with creating a report that outlines the best practices to tackle this looming problem. He says it won't end up costing much either, since all the positions on the task force are volunteer. The bill's expected up for a vote later this week. For Spectrum News, I'm Molly Martinez.